Whoa, before you get into the video, be sure to follow me on Instagram at dfreedbzhd. You guys will be able to find me on there, and you guys can have some fun with me, interact with me. Uh, I've had this Instagram for a while. I'm just now getting back into the flow of using a lot of other forms of social media. As you see, my subscriber follower count is low, so when you go over there and follow, be sure to come back to this video that you're currently watching and leave in the comments, hashtag followed, hashtag krillin' it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is DFree and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and in today's video we're going to be using a mono attack team. Yes, I have God Tanks as you see on Global today. We're going to use a mono attack team to take on Go Tanks' event. So this is the easiest way to do it, um, unless physical. And with physical it may be a little easier to be honest. It just depends on like your unit box because basically for this event you want to take cards that are Piccolo and Super Buu. Uh, for the Piccolos, it can't be like an R Piccolo that you awaken into SR. It has to be natural SR or higher SSR Piccolo. You, uh, the, the one transcend UR Piccolo in the game. You know those cards. As far as Super Boos, it has to be regular Super Boo. It cannot be Boo Tanks, Boo Piccolo. It can't be Kid Boo or Fat Boo. It has to be regular Super Boo. What they do is they basically do a lot of damage on this stage and take uh, and basically make it to where it's easier to manage the stage because every other unit does like no damage basically. Let me grab the Go Tanks friend in here. He's super attack 10. That's awesome. On here, my go tank's only super attack 2. Uh, is that... Wait. Uh, yes, that's the squad I'm bringing. Oh, my baby Goku. He's not LR yet, but he will be. The event comes back every weekend, so it's it's here actually today on Saturday. But uh, I've been using it, so I'll, I'll have him awaken soon. But, oh, no. Oh, sh oh, the struggle is real. I'm so used to using my Icarus, so I'll have to leverage this a little differently. As a matter of fact, I'll just use my Whis. Whatever. Uh, double heal. Good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. And yeah, so let me go ahead and explain. If you're new to my channel, you're new like since the last time I did a summon video, I want you to understand something. I'm not a summon channel. I don't do summon videos very often for a couple of reasons. Um, I built my channel doing other things as far as like Dokkan is concerned because I don't even consider myself a Dokkan YouTuber it's just something that kind of happened uh I, I got to a point where so many people are requesting it to get so many views it's like I have to keep doing it which kind of bothers me to be honest sometimes but I don't even consider myself a Dokkan YouTuber but as far as Dokkan content exclusively is concerned I never predicated my channel on doing summons partly because I don't do face cam and I you know the reason why I don't do face cam people ask me that is because of bad lighting in my house uh, I need to get a lighting kit which I've been kind of putting off because I'd rather spend my money on Dragonstone to be honest and you know my channel dude does just fine without face cam so eventually I'll get it set up but that's pretty much the reason as to why initially I didn't because I started doing Dokkan content when there was nobody else really doing Dokkan before Dino the only people I was really doing it was like uh was Theo living Ichigo really him and a couple of other people that didn't really stick around long enough so like it wasn't really prevalent so that's why I kind of don't do it but um what I was going to say is that being said I don't do summons on video, so I didn't summon on video for Gotenks. People were asking when you're going to do a summon video for Gotenks. Um, I didn't do it, but let me explain what happened. I, um, that was really weak for a Super Attack 10. Anyways, I was like, oh, let me just do a couple solos, or YOLOs, excuse me. And literally, the first summon I did, it was base form by guys, and I was like, you wouldn't. I was like, in my head, you wouldn't. Oh, damn, it's Gotenks. This guy loves me. And then, like, yesterday, the rate spiked. To like nine percent for whatever reason yes this banner has nine percent rate it's really high rate um so yesterday the rate spiked really high and i was like let me do a multi summon so i bought like enough stones for a multi summon uh and it worked out really well it got another go tanks i'm like damn this guy um go tanks is a weird unit right because go tanks is like my spirit animal i'm not gonna lie on jp i've got four extra go tanks sitting in my box i'm not showing off or anything i'm just trying to keep you guys updated uh, because I know that this is probably pissing some people off because they tried so hard to get him. And trust me, I understand. I played in a time, and I main global in a time where the rates in global were abysmal. Like, below 1%, around 1%. I even used, like, 700 stones to get zero SSRs. So, like, I understand the struggle. Um, but at the same time, like, Gotenks loves me. He really does. He, I just I can't get away from the guy. So it's awesome that I have him over here. And what that does is it enables me to do more videos for you guys. That's, that's, main, that's the exact main reason as to why I'm happy about it. Uh, basically, what I had to do, though, until then, was I brought, like, a, uh, I brought a AGL Piccolo. Piccolo and, and Boo, by the way, are useless until you get to Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I'll explain a little bit more when I get there. But what I did was I brought AGL, Super Vegito Team, Mono AGL, on this event with a uh, AGL Piccolo, and he did really well. All right, so we're almost done. 
Trunks is honestly the worst part of this event because typing disadvantage with the tech team, but everything else works out fine. And I also have done this event on JP, of course, with like other teams, other types of teams. So go through my backlog of videos. Site, it's, you basically would have to type in Gotenks' name, and you'd find uh, videos I did on Gotenks. Just throwing that out there. Um, you're you're dead this turn either way. No matter what I do, he's done this turn. It's good when I can take them out without having to use very many items either. That's really good. The worst part about Go Tanks over here, though, is that I <laughs> I still have to max out my Super Vegito. I'm gonna need to max out LR Goku. He's at Super Attack 10 right now, but he'll be 20 eventually. I'm gonna need to max out this Go Tanks. He's only Super Attack 2. On JP, they're all maxed out already. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not used to them hitting for like as little as they do now. It's funny because I'm like, oh, he's gonna do for like 600k, and he does like. 400k and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Still amazing, don't get me wrong. It's just like, oh yeah, I'm not used to that. Uh, so here, I'll actually, can I set this up in a way that it'll give me 11 key? Can you drop? I think it will. Damn it, too many. Damn it, everywhere I go, too many. Oh, I fucked up, okay, whatever. Since he's attacking so much, will I rely on Weezus? Mm. The thing is, I don't want to use anything, but I will. I'll heal here just to be safe. I was going to rely on Whis potentially stunning, but it's okay. I wonder if Whis actually would have stunned. Let's see. No, he didn't stun, actually. Okay, so that's cool. Oh, I chose right for sure because he super attacked too. That's one thing I was considering too. Is like, what if he super attacks? He would have killed me this turn. Oh, girl, smart is uh, or safe is a smart way to go. This is actually a really good turn. This is actually a really good turn due to setup. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Don't do this game. Drop the. Ah, I have to get this stupid super. That's not what I want. If you're playing global and you're not accustomed to my JP stuff or you're new to my channel, whatever it is, your aim is to get 11 key on Gotenks. The reason being is because that's his hardest hitting super attack. It does immense damage and it greatly lowers or greatly raises his own attack. 9 and 10 key do super attacks too with immense damage, but they don't raise his attack stat, so they don't, they don't do anywhere near as much. Uh, that 350 will tell you otherwise. But uh, 12... Greatly lowers defense and uh, does extreme damage. So it's really weak, but it has the added benefit, if you know, if you will, of uh, lowering defense. So there's that. Anyways, this should be the end of this guy. I don't see him surviving this. <laughs> and no, this Go Tanks doesn't seal supers like physical. He's just a nice unit to have for the orb changing passive. another thing i need that tech bardock on global the, the funny story um i've said so before let me actually do this turn really quick i will we you can actually see piccolo start doing a lot of damage here too uh oh and there's an 11 key sitting for me it's just waiting it's like baby come take me baby get me come get me okay so super attack with you and super attack with you and 11 key with the oh no 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 i fucked it up no, I spoke too soon, but there's another one. It opened. I was going to get the green in the bottom right, but it opened. <laughs> um, ooh, I'm glad I used that Whis. What, was, what I was going to say is um, basically, uh, shit, I forgot. It was stolen from me. I, it just, I literally had it on my head, my brain. 256K, not bad. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Global has the tech max rate banner, max level banner. I want to explain for newer people that those banners that say max level are not troll banners. Those are actually the best banners in the game. Reason being is because their rate is consistent, like 8% or so, but also limited selection. They don't have 90 SSRs in the banner and hundreds of Rs or whatever the actual numbers are. You know what I mean? Limited selection means that those are the best banners in the game. The reason why I say this and why I brought that up specifically is because I actually started playing my JP account that you guys see in videos. Literally, literally, like a week before the Gotenks event came out, 
And that same tech banner that's live right now on Global with Bardock and Super Saiyan Blue Goku is the same exact banner that I built my account on literally when Gotenks came out. Like, I pulled Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta from there. I pulled that tech Bardock. Um, I never got the tech Whis. I did pull Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Like, you can build really good teams from those type banners. That's why they come back so often. And if you're a paying player or whatever, you can do the, the multi-summons and get, you know, the Elder Kai. So, like, I want to explain that if you ever see max banners and you're trying to build a mono team, because the meta for this game is mono teams, basically those banners are the best ones. And goddamn, Boo. Funny story, too. This Boo is actually not Super Attack 10. I gave up on him, like, way back when he was new. He's Super Attack 6. So there's that. Am I going to get a Dokkan mode here? I'm really close. Maybe I can get it with Piccolo. That'd be awesome. He'll hit super hard. He will hit really hard if he does. I don't think I can. Damn it, it'll be next turn and Boo won't even be there either. Crap. At the very least, they're hitting really hard. That's all I can really hope for, or ask for. Maybe I'll have that other Gotenks. I wasn't paying attention to his placement. I kicked him off for a while. Ooh, we stunned, not bad. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. I saw the passive activate. Oh, my bad. This passive showed up, and I saw the little thingy, but maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay, so this Gotenks is back. Uh, la, 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 la. What will I do here? But see, the thing is, if I... One, two, three, four, five. That's way too much. Damn it, this, this Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks screwed this whole turn over. By making all these orbs rainbow. It's really good most of the time, but in this scenario, it's really bad. It's making me have to... Shit! All these rainbow orbs, go away! Because there's nothing I can do here. I can, uh... I need one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four... Four on that Gotenks. How can I get him four key? Everything I do is going to screw him over, though. Whatever, we'll just see. Oh my god, whatever. I did all this trying to get an 11 key super with this friend Gotenks to the point where I wound up just giving him the Dokkan mode. I knew I was doing it, but I tried to manage it, but it didn't work very well. So whatever. Doesn't matter either way. But that boo, that boo hits for like 600k with a Dokkan mode. 700k almost. And... Piccolo and Boo don't hit this hard. Normally, that's only because of this event, if you weren't privy to that. What form are you going into after this? Basically, it's random. Um, I found that if you have... Ooh, I got really lucky. I found that if you have a Piccolo or a Boo on the turn that he's about to transform like that, he will go down a form. Like, I've seen him literally go Super Saiyan 3, then Super Saiyan 1, then Super Saiyan 3, then Super Saiyan 1, back and forth. But I've literally seen him go Super Saiyan 3, base form, Super Saiyan 1, base form, Super Saiyan 1, base form, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 3. I've seen it. He goes in weird patterns. So it's totally random for the most part. But Boo seems to force him into that, that uh, base form somehow. I don't think that's even listed in the notes for the game. Like, I could be mistaken. I think I actually win here. I literally think I win here. So let me do this. I may very well win, despite not having links. Mm, no, I don't win. I was really close, though. It's going to get him, like, half health. Ooh, girl, boots hit way harder than I thought he would hit. But that was because Vegito gave him like 55% more attack. Anyways, that's been the video on Global. Leave a like if you guys enjoy this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, of course. But I do have a surprise for you coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. Other than that, have an awesome day. Catch you guys later. Until then, peace. You know, I get asked a lot, like, when are you going to do a face reveal? When are you going to do a face reveal? When are you going to do a face reveal? So this is my face reveal. For all you new people to the channel, what's up? So this isn't the first time I've done it. It's more or less the first time in a long time though. Uh, 
I don't use face cam for the most part. Will I get into face cam? Probably whenever I get better lighting. I'm not currently at home, so the lighting is a little different now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys really quick because I get asked a lot like, what are you gonna do? It's about time for a face reveal. And I'm like, bro, I've done face cam on the channel before. I've done unboxings, I've done all types of stuff. So I've, done, I've got 700 videos, so you gotta go search for that stuff. But I'll start trickling in and editing a little bit better, uh, a little bit more actually is what I mean to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, any other stuff uploaded, go ahead and check it out. So until then, peace.